Happy Thursday, happy Thanksgiving from Bloomington, Indiana. I'm here with my family at in my grandparents' garage right now, and uh, we had a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner, brought together all uh, my dad's whole side of the family, and it was very nice to reconnect with a bunch of my cousins, and um, just wanted to reflect a little bit on Thanksgiving. Um, I have done some some research and read some books which have really revealed to me that our story of Thanksgiving that we're taught growing up is kind of uh, sketchy as far as the real historical analysis goes and there's a really amazing book called The Lies My Teacher Told Me by James Lowen which kind of reveals more of the truth of how the colonists completely exterminated so many indigenous people and how indigenous people have really been left out of the picture of most of our history books and um, now in the 21st century a lot of the truth is coming out and a lot of um, Western people are beginning to really respect and and um, feel like they need to work to protect and help indigenous people and when I was at this gathering in Albuquerque, New Mexico called the Wisdom from the Origins, um, there was a man named James Odia who read this declaration of commitment to indigenous people about how we um, Westerners have just really done so many horrible things to the indigenous, but now we're striving to um, help out all these people, these tribes that are still existent and have so much to offer. And so I really encourage you to check out this Declaration of Commitment. I'll post a link to it, you can sign it. Um, and it's just a really, pro it was really profound to witness um, this Western man reading this declaration to all of these indigenous people from all around the world. And um, when when he finished the declaration, this this woman from the Maori people in, in New Zealand, this grandmother, traveled all the way to New Mexico. She just like stood up in front of this huge audience and put down her, her staff and sang this incredible Maori song at the top of her lungs. And uh, throughout the whole gathering, um, whenever anyone would try to offer her a microphone, she's like, I do not need a microphone <laughs> and she is probably 90 years old or something like that um, but anywho um, I am really thankful to all the indigenous people who have just um, kept their traditions so strong and are continuing to restore their languages and their traditions and um, I just came across this beautiful song, this Lakota song on YouTube. I'll post the link to that. It's just a really powerful healing song. And um, so I'm just feeling really thankful for so many things today. And there's this phrase that I often say, mitaku, o, mitaku yasin, aho mitaku yasin, which means I give thanks to all my relations, all my human relations, all my non-human relations, and I feel we really are our relationships, and we're not really just these discrete, separate beings, we're really made up of all our relationships with the whole entire universe. So, anywho, that is some of my reflections on this day of thanks. I encourage you to give thanks every single day. It doesn't just have to be on this Thanksgiving. Um, if you want to post some things you're thankful for, please do. Because when you exude gratitude, it exudes into infinitude. And by giving gratitude, it just makes life so much better. So thank you for watching. Have a marvelous day, and tomorrow is Light Friday. I made a video last year, instead of Black Friday, this day of shopping, it's actually Light Friday, where we can uh, celebrate the light and maybe just make a gift for somebody instead of going out to Walmart. Um, <laughs> so there's alternative possibilities. So scooby doo have a beautiful day. Peace.